Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a review of the new Buff Bunny collection. This is their seven launch. This is in collaboration with Kara Corey, which is super exciting. She has been working with Buff Bunny forever. I've met her multiple times and I'm just so excited for her. This is such a her launch. So it is now October, which means it is spooky season and you know Buff Bunny loves a good Halloween launch. This launch though is a little bit more me. I like a spooky moment. I like Halloween, but I'm definitely a little bit more on the like, you know, fall color girly side than like the spooky gory side. So I like that this launch has some nice like grungy colors, some neutrals, but they're all very wearable and not costumey. So this is launching on Saturday, October 7th at 1 p.m. Central Time. As always, the other times will be up on the screen here. And if this review helps you out, I appreciate if you use code Catherine at checkout. It supports me, but it also gives you a 10% off. And as always, leave your questions in the comments down below. Send me a DM on Instagram. Just try to do it a couple days before the launch so your girl has time to reply. All right, let's start out with launch colors. So I do not have a lot of the colors. It seemed like most of the pieces were coming in like black, navy, but some of the other more unique colors of the launch are only coming in like a couple pieces. So if I do not hold up a color, it's because I don't have it. Anyways, we have white, of course. We have ivory, which I've actually never tried Buff Bunny ivory. Envy green, which I don't have, but these are all very deep, moody colors. We have vanity, which is this really deep purple color, which I think might be my favorite. We have lust, which is this really deep red color. We have quite a bit in this journey dark brown, which we've seen for a couple years now from Buff Bunny. So this will match your previous journey dark brown pieces. And then the rest of the colors that I don't have, there is wrath red, which is a brighter red. Nebula, which is another navy variation. Onyx black. And then we also have a new print. We have the black Delia print, which is just this subtle rose pattern, which is super cute, very subtle wearable. All right, we're gonna start it out with leggings. So starting with the corset leggings, we've seen the corset leggings before, I believe in the cake collection. So the corset leggings are made out of their butter fabric, which if you're unfamiliar with Buff Bunny fabrics, I'd say their main most popular fabric is Nubri, which still has like a light to medium compression naked feel, but the butter is just a little bit more lightweight and a little bit stretchier and just the lightest compression. So the corset leggings we have seen before, but they have made some changes. They opened up the top band a little bit. I feel like I wasn't a huge fan of the corset leggings last time. I really wanted to love them but I felt like the waistband overall didn't have a lot of compression but the top elastic had a good amount of compression so that was just kind of like squeezing me in and it just wasn't really staying up very well so we will do a side by side to see if this is feeling any better from the last variation of the corset leggings. I love that they're always implementing kind of small little changes to improve the fit. They also increased the rise height for larger sizes. So it's just a better rise height overall for those bigger sizes. So extra small to medium-ish, don't expect a change in the rise. So these are a high rise. I believe it was my last Buff Bunny review when Buff Bunny introduced some new terminology for the rises and the corset leggings are considered a high rise. So we have no front seam. We have a slightly extended gusset. And then you have this cute little corset detailing in the front, as well as the back with some curved glute seams and a classic 26 inch inseam. I believe all of the leggings today, with the exception of the flares, have a 26 inch inseam. All right, here are the corset leggings. And I know it said that they released it a little bit in the top waistband, but these are feeling a lot more snug than my other corset leggings, which is probably a good thing. They're going to stay up a little bit better just because the last ones were feeling a little bit loose. So maybe they changed the sizing a little bit as well. I did lay them on top of each other and these do look significantly smaller, but we also have to take into account that I've worn the other corset leggings a couple of times and these new ones I have not worn so they are not at all stretched out or anything, but that was a pretty stark sizing difference. So I still like the small here. Again, there is a top band on this. It's not so tight that it's cutting into me at all. I think it's still good for my size, but just keep that in mind. If the last corset leggings were snug for you, I would consider a size up. But yeah, we have the butter fabric. Overall, it's kind of a light to medium compression right now because of that extra snugness for me. These are super flattering on the glutes. We're gonna go medium to high on the booty scale. The seams go above the glutes. You can kind of situate them between the cheeks just a little bit. Um, these are not going to be the most cellulite friendly fabric. 
Darker color is obviously going to be a little bit more cellulite friendly, but Nubri is a little bit thicker, a little bit more dense, and just has a little more cellulite coverage than the Butter. So I'm getting a little bit of tightness in the crotch here just because these are a little bit more snug than before, but I am not getting any camel, so that's good. And then these are a 26 inch inseam, so I feel like the butter 26 inch inseams have been just coming up a little bit shorter on me than the Nubri. So these are these are about like an ankle length, a little bit above the ankle. So yeah, it's a little bit hard for me to tell exactly the changes that have been made. I could have a tiny bit more space though. All right, next we have a new legging that I'm super excited about. We have the Material Girl ribbed flare leggings. So you guys know we've had the Material Girl ribbed leggings in several launches. And in terms of a gym legging, I never really reach for ribbed materials. It just feels a little bit more loungy lifestyle for me. So I was never a huge fan of the Material Girl ribbed leggings just because of that. But I think it's a perfect material for a flare legging because I don't work out in flare leggings. These are strictly lounge lifestyle, which means that kind of more loungy or lifestyle fabric of the Material Girl ribbed material just makes so much more sense. So I'm also super excited because these are coming in three separate lengths. We have short, which is 29 inches, regular, which is 32, and long, which is 34. And I have the long because I am a tall gal. So they kind of base these off of the Foxy Flare fit. And because the Material Girl material is just a little bit slippery at times, these do look kind of small when holding them up, but they have a ton of stretch. So there's a soft V front to the waistband. We also have little V tapered glute seams in the back with the sewn on coin logo. And looking at the flare here, this definitely looks like kind of like a skinny to super flared. So maybe a little bit more than the Foxy flares. So as you guys may know, the original Foxy flares, they were doing a little bit of the Clydesdale horse effect, which means they were too skinny below the knee for me, which means they're clinging to my calves and it creates like an awkward look. As a big calf gal, I just need it to flare just right below the knee and not be too skinny of a flare. Okay, so this does actually look like it is following the silhouette of the Foxy Flare really well. Maybe just like the tiniest bit smaller overall because they are a stretchier material. And I also like the ribbed fabric for flares because I like to wear these as lifestyle, which means I reach more towards neutral colors. And black Nubri leggings collect a lot of pet fur and it's just hard with Peach and Pinto to keep all that fur off. So the ribbed material of these is a little bit more sleek so pet fur doesn't cling to them very much or really at all. The flares are an ultra high rise which is the same as the foxy flares. All right here's a close-up of the material girl ribbed. It's this really nice like vertical rib structure and I just wanted to show the inside. The inside is smooth so you don't have that rib texture in it and it's actually really soft on the inside as well. All right I was holding these up and they seemed kind of small Maybe it's because I just had my lunch break. I literally just had quite a big lunch, but these are feeling a little bit snug. Like my waist is quite snatched. Oh, Peach, you wanna say hi? I think Peach wants to say hi. You know you have to make at least one appearance in every video. But yeah, leaning over in these, definitely getting a little bit of waistband rolling. I'm just feeling a little bit too compressed up in here. So I definitely would say that these run a little bit small and to size up if you are either unsure or in between, which is rare for me to say for the Material Girl leggings because I used to size down in these, but maybe they've played with the sizing a little bit too much. Anyways, these are an ultra high rise. They do go over the smallest point of my waist. We do have that soft V dipped out in the front. I love the pattern of the ribbing. I think it's super flattering. We do have a side seam on these. And in the back, I feel like I would get a little bit more contouring around the glutes if I had a little bit more space in these, but I will still give them a medium to high on the booty scale. We do have those flattering V seams there. And this is still a stretchy fabric, so it's not squishing me down. And then on to the flare. I do feel like these are a little bit more of a snug flare than the updated Foxy flares, just because overall these just run a little bit smaller. But I still would say they're not total Clydesdale horse. They do skim my calves a little bit, but the original Foxy flares were like, super tight on my calves and then flared away so it looked really awkward. These ones I think are just a skinnier flare but it's still wearable for me and this is the 34 inch inseam. They 
they're a great length for me. I love the amount of flares that these have. They're definitely a flare and not as much of like a boot cut. Overall compression is good medium, maybe even medium to high. Again, I don't know if this is affected because I just ate my lunch and it's just feeling a little bit more snug up here. If I had a size up in these, just a little bit looser, they'd probably be more of a light to medium compression. I try not to watch other people's reviews before I film mine just because I don't want any of my thoughts like tainted, but maybe people are agreeing with me, I'm not sure. All right, next we have Rebel Leggings. So these are the Rebel Leggings I have. I believe these were from Mad Scientist, but they're only coming in this Mood Ring holographic color, which is this really cool holographic shade of kind of purpley teal blue. So it's only coming in this, but I'll be holding up my other leggings that I have because I don't have the Mood Ring holographic leggings. So these are classic Rebel Leggings, which these are one of my all time favorite performance leggings. They're the classic Buff Bunny Rebel silhouette. So we have no top band. We have a nice double thickness waistband, no front seam, slightly extended gusset, 26 inch inseam, and they have those really nice tapered curved glute seams in the back, so they're super flattering. These are definitely a little bit more on the compressive side because they're made of the Elysium fabric, which is a performance material. I also find that the holographic leggings in general are just a little bit more compressive, give you a little bit more hold. So these are high rise, compressive, but super stretchy. And I feel like this material actually really hides sweat well, just because it really just doesn't show through on this fabric, but it's still breathable. And here is a close up of that fabric. It's actually a bunch of like tiny little dot details over black that just makes the holographic shade. Next, we have a classic, the Rosa leggings. These are made of the Newbury fabric, which is my personal favorite Buff Bunny fabric. It just has nice hold to it, really soft to the touch and holds up really well over time. I don't think I have any Newbury leggings that have pilled. And I've been wearing my Newbury since the beginning, like since I started reviewing Buff Bunny four years ago, I still have those pieces. So the Rebel leggings are the simplest of the Buff Bunny leggings. Personally, I prefer the Legacy leggings more, but this is Kara's collection and she likes the Rosa leggings. So this is our basic legging of the collection. There will be no Legacy leggings, which I'm a little bit sad about, but we also have them in like every single launch. So it's okay, they'll be back. So we have a tapered waistband. There's a little soft V in the front. This is an old pair of Rosa leggings, so ignore the color. We do have some tapered glute seams in the back and the Rosa leggings always have this really delicate seam detail. So the Rosa legging seams are always this kind of skinnier flat lock seam, a slightly extended gusset and a 26 inch inseam. Any solid colored rosas I find about a light to medium compression. They have very minimal detail. They have no seam down the outside of the leg. But for me, the rosas, they are definitely strictly lifestyle leggings. I honestly don't reach for mine very much because I'd much rather have a legacy. Not only because I like the legacy legging seam detail, but the legacy leggings just stay up a little bit better for me. Sometimes I find that the Rosa leggings have a little tendency to slide down. And then in the back, these are about medium to medium high on the booty scale. When I first put them on, I feel like they're medium to high, but then as they kind of slide down a little bit, we get to be more in the medium territory. So that's where that comes from. And of course, no top band. The next new legging, are the sinful leggings so these ones i'm hoping i turn out to like them but they have an elastic along the top which can be very hard to fit right so i actually have these in an extra small because with this type of elastic and just the sizing of this legging buff buddy doesn't usually make leggings like this so i think they had some issues with sizing they said if you're a small or below to size down one size but if you're a medium or above then you can stick with your normal size so since I'm normally a small, I size down to an extra small. And I think that's good because this waistband does not seem super small for me. So I love that they're incorporating some performance leggings because we don't see them very often from Buff Bunny, but I have very few performance leggings that I actually like in my collection. And Buff Bunny is always one that I do like. So these are made of a nylon Lycra. They are a performance sleek material, so they're going to be sweat wicking, pet fur resistant, but they're not shiny. Of course, any performance legging has a little bit more shine to it than like a brushed legging, but this isn't like the cheap shiny look. They're 26 inch inseam. They do have seams on the inside and the outside of the leg. We have no front seam. And in the back below the waistband, we do have some glute contour details to be nice and flattering on the glutes. These are labeled as a high rise. So just about to the belly button, 26 inch inseam. And 
and we have this tonal waistband, which I feel like I could be here for as long as it's not either super gapy or super tight on my waist. But I just find myself not really reaching for these elastics very much. But I do like what they did here with the tonal vibe and it's like a little bit of a satin finish with the Buff Bunny silicone branding. So here you can see an up close to the waistband. We see that tonal Buff Bunny branding. And this is just one elastic sewn around the whole legging. It is sewn together in the back and it has that kind of softer feel on the inside of it but it's a very thin edge so so sometimes I find that these can be a little bit uncomfortable with long-term wear so let's try these on okay listen I just tried on the material girl flares and those were super snug on me and whenever that happens I'm sitting there questioning like did my body change or is the sizing just off and now I'm sitting here in a pair of extra small leggings that have even a tiny bit of room in the waist. So so the sizing definitely feels a little bit scattered in this launch. And I just hate when that happens because it gets really confusing. But anyways, we have these sinful leggings. So I'm actually liking these more than expected. I feel like you really need a specific sports bra to go with these leggings. And I really wanted that to be the Wicked sports bra, but again, mine just didn't come in time. I really love the base fabric of this though. It's a really nice performance material. It has a matte look to it, but it's super stretchy like endless stretch and definitely a little bit on the thinner side. So I'm getting really only like a light to medium compression out of these. In general, I tend to gravitate towards like a nylon spandex than a poly spandex. And since these are the nylon spandex, it's no surprise that I do really like these. Okay, we will go to the back before we talk about the waistband. So we do have that little seam detail underneath the waistband that sometimes I don't like this kind of double layered situation, but in this case, I feel like it is flattering and it still sits above the glutes. A lot of times when brands do this little double, this little double seam waistband detail, the seam goes across the middle of your glutes and it's very unflattering, but this is above, it's flattering. These are super stretchy, so they're not squishing the glutes down and I can even pull them up a little bit. So they are a nice medium to high on the booty scale. Cellulite is another story though. These are not going to be very cellulite friendly. They're a little bit thinner. Performance materials tend to not be as cellulite friendly. So if you want more cellulite coverage in a performance legging, I would go for the Wicked Pocket leggings. We do have that seam down the side of the leg. And then these are the 26 inch inseam. All right, now we can talk about the waistband. So this is an extra small, so I definitely agree with their recommendation to size down. It actually is fitting me quite well. Definitely when I lean over, you can get a tiny bit of little space there. But overall, this hits me at a point where it's not squishing into me, causing any like muffin topping, but it's also not like all wavy and like super big. So, so if you're a small or below, definitely follow the recommendation to size down. But in general, this is not a very forgiving waistband. It's the only tight compressive area. So if you are looking for lower tummy control, this is honestly just going to accentuate the lower tummy area, not give you any compression down there. And if you carry weight in your midsection, it's just gonna kind of hit you at one place and cause all sorts of squishing. Anyways, I would not be wearing this on any sort of like bloated day or anything just because I know the waistband is not going to be agreeing with me. So I really love the base material of these, would love to see that with a different sort of waist. I feel like I like what they were going for with this, but it's just not gonna be the most flattering. Next new legging is another performance legging. We have the Wicked Pocket Leggings. So the sinful leggings were a nylon spandex. And whenever we have a nylon spandex, that's a little bit more lightweight, thinner, stretchy. The Wicked Pocket Leggings are made of, I believe the same material as the Infinity Leggings from the Storm Collection. And these are a recycled polyester spandex. So I always find that a poly spandex is a little bit more structured, a little bit thicker than a nylon spandex. So we're gonna get a little bit more compression out of these. So my running girlies, this is your legging of the launch. I love that they came out with the Infinity Leggings in the Storm Collection because it just appealed to a whole different audience. The girl who feel left out who don't who don't like to wear like a brushed legging who aren't just true gym girlies or lounge girlies if you're running you just need a little bit more support so first of all we have an ultra high rise so that should help them from sliding down too much we have no front seam we have a little bit of an arched seam detail that ties in the side pockets so we do have full-sized phone pockets on the side. They have that bonded edge seam that keeps it very sleek looking from the outside there. We have a slightly extended gusset, 26 inch inseam. These not only have a top band, which helps performance leggings stay up, but they also have that stretchy loop drawstring 
to tighten that up and make sure those leggings aren't going anywhere when you're doing high impact exercises. So we have the two pockets on the side. We also have four pockets along the back. As someone who doesn't run, I don't, I will never use these pockets, but if you're a runner and you have like little, little things that you bring with you on your run, you have four little compartments and these all have a very seamless look with that little bonded edge. So you barely even notice that the pocket is bonded on the top. And then we still have some flattering glute seam. Just because you're wearing a performance legging, it doesn't mean it has to be unflattering on the glutes. Okay, here are the Wicked Pocket leggings. And I feel like I like these even better than the Infinity leggings. So first of all, we do, it's labeled as an ultra high rise. I feel like I'm getting just about a high rise. It's just covering the belly button for me. So I'll still label it as ultra high rise because that's what they labeled, but I really feel like it's more of a high compared to other ultra high rise leggings that definitely go higher on me. So this one is definitely a more snug fitting legging, but it is meant to have more compression and be more performance. So I'm getting a medium to high compression, getting lots of waistband compression as well. And the top band is definitely pretty snug on me to the point where I don't even really feel like I need to tie this at least right now. But I like that. I like a performance legging that I know is going to stay up because they are more sleek material. So they just have a tendency to slide down if it's not really snug in the waist. I also think the buff bunny detail is super cute here. They have that raised silicone tonal detailing. We do have side pockets and it does fit my phone. And I just wanted to show that bonded edge detailing a little bit more. It creates like an ultra sleek, seamless look to the pocket. The waistband is pretty thick, so I feel like I'm honestly getting a little bit of lower tummy control here. We also have those extra seams down the side that I feel like just add a nice little detail. And then we go to the full length view and this little bottom area, because it is that bonded edge, it was a little bit tight to get over my feet. Like it's definitely possible, but you can definitely feel the tightness, but overall the length is still good. And just to show what I'm talking about, this is that little bonded edge, similar to the pocket. It just has like a little bit less stretch than a typical seam. And then we go to the back and I don't know, I'm kind of between a medium to high or medium on the booty scale for these. The seams could go like the tiniest bit higher, but I still feel like overall it's flattering and they're not squishing the glutes down. These will be somewhat cellulite friendly. They are a little bit thicker, a little bit more hold than the sinful leggings. And then we have all the pockets in the back, which is a super nice touch. So yeah, these are gonna be an awesome performance legging. I think these are great. And I like them just a little bit more than the infinity leggings because I'm not sure those had side pockets. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick to my guns on this high rise. It's definitely not ultra high for me. And the last leggings that no one except Kara has yet because I don't, I don't know if they're gonna make it into the launch, guys. I really hope they do. And I really hope I get to try them for you before the launch goes live. But these are the aggressive scrunch leggings. So it sounds crazy. But from my understanding from seeing pictures and watching behind the designs is that these are a naked feel butter fabric legging with super flattering curved glute seams and guys, guys, a hidden scrunch. We did it guys. Is this the first Buff Bunny hidden scrunch? I love a hidden scrunch. What did I say at the beginning of this year? January was it? I said more and more brands are gonna be doing a hidden scrunch, or at least I said that they should be. And now look at all the hidden scrunches we've seen this year. We've seen, we've seen Camo, Petula, and now we have Buff Bunny. So I'm super bummed I can't try these right now for you guys, but the other details that I have note of is that no front seam, these are a high rise, so right about just above the belly button. I'm also assuming that these are going to be kind of similar to the curve leggings and that the back rise is a little bit shorter so it can go up the glutes, but I can't be entirely certain. These are meant to give you some glute separation though and go up the cheeks. So with a hidden scrunch legging, you can just put them on normally and not put them up the glutes and you still do get a little bit extra glute contour because that seam just goes up like a the tiniest bit. But if you want the full effect, you can pull that little scrunch into the glutes, get maximum glute separation. The only thing is sometimes there is some risk for some camel action with that. So I honestly can't say if that's going to be an issue or not. I did get a little bit of that problem with the curved leggings. So I assume that might be a problem again, but they're always making improvements, always making changes. So they might have adjusted it in a way that has fixed that issue. I just wanna put that out there because I can't try these on yet. Anyways, those are just coming in Onyx Black in this launch. Next we have shorts and by shorts, I mean, one short. There's only one pair of shorts as we enter the fall season, but it's a new short and I'm excited about these. These are the Rosa Pocket six inch shorts. 
So there used to be a Rosa pocket bag short, but those were like 10 inches and it's just not my thing. I love like a five to seven, perfect length for me. So we got a six inch short. So these are the classic shape of the Rosa pocket leggings. So these are an ultra high rise. So keep in mind that is pretty high for shorts. We have that gentle V detail in the front. We have no front seam, obviously a six inch inseam. And then we do have that tapered pocket detail down the side, some curved glute seams as well. All right, moving on to sports bras. All right, six inch Rosa pocket shorts. I love these. There's one thing that I would change about them that we'll get into in a second, but I just brought my phone over so we can see plenty of space in the pockets. This is a short that I would wear like all summer long. We definitely need more colors of this. When spring rolls around, I know it's literally like not even fall yet. I know it's literally like barely even fall yet, but you know what I mean. All right, anyways, we have an ultra high rise. And for some reason on shorts, I just feel like a high rise is just a little bit better because this just feels like it almost takes over like my whole torso and I'm very tall. So it's going to be very overwhelming on a lot of people. So I just wish it was more of like a regular high rise and hit like right there. I feel like that would be a perfect rise for me, especially for shorts. I feel like the rise just tends to go up a little bit higher even. We have that slight V dip down in the front. Overall, I'm feeling about a medium compression on these. These are super true to size. You can really go either way if you're in between sizes. And they're also very thick thigh friendly. I'm getting a lot of stretch in the bottom of the thighs. These are not going to roll on me because they're a good solid six inch inseam. And it's just got space for thighs, which I love to see. I love that we still have that tapered pocket detail here. I just feel like it's a flattering line down the leg. And then we have the slightly curved seams that go above the glutes in the back for a solid medium to high on the booty scale. These are just a really solid pair of shorts. Again, the only thing I would change is maybe a teeny bit shorter in the waist. But other than that, these are an incredible short and I definitely hope we see them again. Again. I'm gonna have to pick up pace because this video is gonna be very long and I'm gonna be spending like eight hours editing this tomorrow. So the first new sports bra, we already peeked at this a little bit, but this is the Alpha Sports Bra V2. So we have the classic Alpha Bra silhouette where we have that kind of double layered long line area, flattering V neck detail in the front and some super cute strappiness in the back. So what makes this the V2, you guys may be familiar. We've had the Rosa V2. I'm wearing the, I think this is the Revolution Bra V2. Whenever it's made of the Elysium fabric, as opposed to Nubri, we get a V2. But we also have a slight bonus in this one in that these straps are now adjustable just in the V2 version, not the regular alpha, but having that adjustable strap is just gonna be really nice, even a little bit extra support. And I'm assuming some extra support in this one in general, just because the Elysium is just a little bit more hold compression than the Nubri. So let's do a side-by-side -side of the Alpha V2 in the regular Alpha. Should be pretty similar size-wise. All right, Alpha versus Alpha V2. First of all, if we line up these bottom bands, we can see the regular Alpha is significantly longer. On the size small, I have about three inches and the small for the V2 is only about two inches. You can also see some differences in the top here. We don't have the straps sewn on the regular Alpha bra until we get more towards the back of the sports bra, but the V2, you change to the strap a little bit sooner and you also have that adjustability. And it just overall feels like there's a little bit more bust space. It doesn't necessarily come up higher, but the shape is just a little bit different I'd say a little bit more side boob coverage and just less of a dramatic V on the Alpha V2. All right, it's giving, it's giving mermaid and I'm here for it. I actually think the mood ring hollow goes really well with the vanity color of the shorts. So a good little mix and match opportunity here. The camera definitely picks up a lot of that blue undertone, but for me looking down, it's very purple. So I'm actually really liking the fit of the Alpha V2. First of all, I love that the adjustable straps is up in the front area. So it's super easy to just reach and adjust them because whenever the adjustable area is in the back, I always have to have Ian like, adjust the straps and he doesn't really know how to adjust a bra strap. So it's just better in front where I can do it easily. These straps actually do feel like there is elastic in them as opposed to the regular Alpha Sports bra, but they sit like nice and flat. So they're actually rolling less 
than the regular alpha straps. We still have that signature, you know, crisscross strap, open back detail, super flattering. I actually feel like I have a little bit more bust space in this one, surprisingly. So we will see that for sure in the side by side. But yeah, I would still say low to medium coverage, quite a bit of cleavage here, but I have less side boob than the other alpha sports bra and the support is about a medium. I do feel like the neckline is a little bit wider as well. So I might find myself wanting to like tuck myself in just a little bit more than my regular alpha sports bra. But I still feel like this one is just a little bit more large cup size friendly and still a flattering shape without being a ton of coverage. All right, next we have another returning item. We have the corset crop. So this is made of the butter fabric. We have these cute little corset seam details. This one's a little bit more lifestyle than gym for me. We have a higher scoop neckline and this definitely has been changed from the original corset top so the original corset top was just not enough room in the bust area and we can see side by side here there's a lot more space in this bust area i believe they just brought up the entire neckline here so for the larger cup sizes like last time i was not fitting in this little bust space here i was spilling out the bottom the top it just like wasn't working for me we should be a lot better this time. We have a seam along the bottom, and then we also have that little corset seam that contours under the bust. There's a racer back, a little coin logo in the bottom left. And let's do a side-by-side -side to see how the coverage has improved from the last one. And also I should say that there are no cut pads or any sort of elastic lining in this one. So it really is more of like a top and not like a built-in bra situation. So support is going to be super, super light, which is another reason why it just doesn't really work for the gym for me. Even lifestyle, I just prefer a little shelf liner in there to keep me a little bit more supported. So I would love to see them add that at some point. Okay, quick look at the corset crops, both in a size small. So we now have about five inches of coverage from the bottom of the low point of the seam to the top. Whereas before we maybe had like three and three quarters. This bottom seam was moved down though a little bit. We're getting just about two inches on the new version and we had a solid three on the last. Okay, updated corset top. This is so much better. Like this is, this is what the bra was supposed to be like or the top I should say. But that little bit of extra bust space, a little bit of extra coverage has made such a huge difference. Like I think I will actually wear this one now. So it's made of the same butter fabric. So it's still nice and soft. It is a double thickness. So it gives you a little bit of hold and we can see I'm actually fully fitting into this little curved bust area now, which allows that little seam to almost give me a little bit of lift. Like I was not feeling any lift because I was below this seam, but now that I'm above this seam, everything's just getting more lift. So this is a lot more large cup size friendly now. Overall coverage, I would say medium to full coverage. I just have a little bit of cleavage at the front here. But I really don't think I would be falling out of it at all. And we also have good side boob coverage. Everything is really soft and comfortable. It's almost more of a long line sports bra feel right now. And I almost feel like it's a little bit thicker than it was. Even though it's technically the same material, it just feels a little bit thicker. That might be a color difference one. I feel like I'm gonna be getting less nippage, even though there are no cup pads, so nippage is still a concern. If you want to work out in this one as a sports bra, it would still be a light support. And then we have that racer back, that corset seam detailing. There is that little stitch along the bottom, but it's not an elastic, so it's not cutting into me at all. I just love when they make changes that just improve so much because this has become a totally different top to me. I really like this now. Another new bra, we have the Double Twist Sports Bra. This one, unfortunately, is only coming in black and it is also made of the butter fabric. It's very similar to the Twist Sports Bra from the Naked Collection, except that one was made of Nubri. This is butter. And this one has two twists, as well as this almost like halter neck style detail. So the straps come up and in in the back instead of straight up and down, which I like because that's gonna keep the straps in place a little bit more. And then we also have a twist on the back of the bra as well. Buff Bunny logo on the bottom left. And if there's one sports bra that's just not really gonna work for me in this launch, it's probably this one, but we have to give it a try, who knows? Okay, I don't know why, but when people were saying this had like a little bit more support than the regular twisted sports bra, I don't know why I thought it meant more coverage, but even holding this bra up, I knew it looked like super tiny. So this is gonna be a thumbs down for the large cup size ladies. I am spilling out of this one. So this is not one that I can even attempt to wear to the gym. It's just not gonna work, which is unfortunate because the style is so cute. Like I want to be able to wear and love this sports bra. 
I just, there's no way she's fitting into this. So I actually really like this sports bra in the butter fabric as opposed to the Nubri. I just feel like it offers a lot more stretch, which is nice. I love the little subtle, like almost wrap front detail. This one feels more of like a wrap than a twist. And it's like ultra short line, which I find very flattering. That's if you like a super short sports bra, obviously, if you're looking for a little more length coverage, this is not gonna be the one. So this is a low coverage and yeah, a low support, a low support. And then we get to the back. Okay, I finally figured out what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the Katarina, Catalina, I forget which one it is. That old sports bra that had the little clasp in the back that was super open and had this like similar neckline. I always loved that one because the back was like so open and so cute for back day. And while this in some fabrics may irritate my neck, because it's in the butter, it's so soft and stretchy that it's actually super comfy. And then we have this little twist detail. And this one's like actually more of a twist in the back here. And just keep in mind on any days where you are lying down at the gym on a mat or on a bench or anything, this little knot does stick up a little bit so that could get uncomfortable. So just try to avoid this sports wrap for that kind of workout day. But yeah, super cute. If you are a smaller cup size, I highly recommend this bra. It's adorable. But until they make a large cup size version, it's gonna be a pass for me. All right, next we have the Revolution Halter Crop. So we first saw the Revolution Halter Sports Bra back in the Naked collection. I believe it launched a little bit late. So I don't even know if I've actually reviewed it on the channel yet. So here we have the Revolution Halter Sports Bra in Stardust. And this is the Rev Halter Crop Top in white. So they both have that squared neckline, which is super flattering. And the halter strap does go behind the neck as it is a halter. Although Buff Bunny has called some things halters in the past that I don't believe are true halters. We can see on the halter sports bra that there's a little elastic along the bottom and it is a short line sports bra. This one was not super large cup size friendly. I did feel like I was spilling out of this at the gym. And you can see there's just kind of minimal coverage in the back as well. With the new Rev Halter crop top, it's still pretty cropped. Like I would almost say this is about the same length as a long line sports bra, but we have a shelf liner on the inside with removable cups and an elastic. So we're gonna get a little bit more coverage and then you can see in the back it's quite a bit more coverage as well so we will do a side by side of these i like that this one is kind of right between like gym and lifestyle so you can really use it for both but it's definitely going to be a pretty short crop it is made of the nubri fabric as well so first impressions putting this on it definitely could have a little bit more bust space i feel overall more coverage than the revolution halter bra but still the bust space is a little bit small for the large cup size girlies. So just keep that in mind. I can still definitely wear this one and I feel like this will be better for the gym in terms of not falling out than the bra, but it's kind of like that corset crop. Like it could be a, just like a teeny bit more. So square neckline, super cute. Definitely a little bit snug around the neck, but because there are no elastics, it's just double thickness fabric. It's still nice and soft. And we can see in terms of the crop length, it's still pretty short, really no longer than like a long line sports bra. And we do have that shelf lining with removable cups, but with the double thickness and the internal bra in there and everything, I'm not seeing those nude cup pads through the white. So it's not an issue with the white color. Like sometimes with white sports bras, you do see that nude cup pad through. I feel like it's good with this. I'd say overall medium coverage, really good side boob coverage, but we do have just like a little, like a little cleavage in the front there. Support, support's actually pretty good. I would give it a medium support. And then here we have the back. Again, it's a halter, so super cute open. I feel like halters are really trendy right now. I feel like depending on your torso length, like for me, this one looks like more of a bra, but maybe for like a smaller cup size or a shorter torso, you're gonna get more of a crop top style look. In terms of sizing, I would definitely say true to size, but if anything, it runs a teeny bit on the snug side. So size up if in between. Another new sports bra, the Seductress Sports Bra. This is a new brief fabric bra. It is short line and it also has adjustable straps. There is a little elastic along the bottom, but it is hidden within the fabric. So it's not like a separately sewn elastic. And you have this little stitching detail that goes from the strap kind of wrapping around the bust. So I've seen this little detail in a couple different brands. I think it's super cute, but a lot of the other brands haven't had enough space for the bust. But I did wear this yesterday to Pilates. 
is she a Pilates girl now? No, it was my first class. Anyways, I did wear this yesterday and I stayed put the entire time and I had great coverage. I also love that the straps are not only adjustable, but they're still made of the Nubri fabric. So they're like a soft adjustable strap. All right, this is definitely a top sports bra of the launch for me. I just love a sports bra that just looks like it's going to be flattering on all cup sizes. Like this is far from a high coverage, high support bra but it still has really great coverage even for a larger cup size like i'm still completely fitting into this the little band at the bottom is keeping me nice and secure below the bust there's really just a little bit of scooping away from the armpit but really not any side boob and then you have a scooped neckline the cleavage is actually really minimal so i would actually say overall solid medium to full coverage on this one which is really surprising and then we have that super cute detail that i feel like adds a little extra lift to the bra the strap seamlessly goes down and around it just kind of scoops under the bra there which is just a super cute very subtle detail this would also be super cute if this was like a different color it's like a little contrast piping detail maybe a future bra and then we have the adjustable straps they are a little tight for me right now so i could definitely loosen them they have a little bit of space to be loosened and then here's the back just little crisscross straps you can see they're adjustable in the support is a solid a solid medium support actually and this is true to size but if anything it's running a little bit on the snug side so if you are in between sizes i would size up but otherwise stick to your normal size and yeah i was really impressed with this one i feel like it's gonna be super flattering on everyone all right we have the sphinx ribbed sports bra this is the one from secrets in the sand i did not get a new one because i already have it and this one's just way too much cleavage for me personally but anyways for my small for my small busted girlies super flattering so it is made of that material girl ribbed material so this goes very well with the flare leggings we have this cutout detail in the front almost like a reverse halter detail it's like a narrow neckline and then it comes into a t-strap in the back this is me the next day so we don't have makeup on because i just got to editing and realized we never did the try on for this so we have that kind of scooped in neckline very geometric we've had some cutout sports wears before that haven't been this much but for me this one i just don't feel comfortable wearing it to the gym in terms of coverage i would say low to medium just because of this cutout the support is actually not too bad i would say more of a medium support it is a little bit snug so I would say size up if you're in between sizes. It's a long line, lots of security in this bottom band here. And we have that thick tee back detail. All right, next, another new one. I love all these new sports bras. We have the Sultry Sports Bra. So this one is made of the same material as the Wicked Pocket Legging. It's that recycled poly spandex. We have the super cute V-neck detail, and we have that kind of shiny bra strap detail here. One that goes around the neck, and then we also have a T-strap in the back that is adjustable, but you can also unhook this to wear it just as a halter if you prefer. Alphalete had a similar sports bra to this. It was the Wonder Sports Bra, and that one was really tight along my neck, and I didn't like that the strap couldn't be adjusted around the neck. It was only adjustable in the back, in which that wasn't really a problem area for me. So I hope this one's a little bit looser up at the neckline because there's no adjustability around the actual neck strap. Other details in the back, there is a little elastic band along the bottom, but in the front, it's almost like that thin elastic detail of the sinful leggings. I hope we can see here, but yeah, the front is that thin detail. It's almost like an elastic in itself in this little area here. I also like that little curved seam, but it switches to the regular fabric with an elastic at the bottom in the back. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing the hype of this one. This is super cute. So first of all, performance material, which is really nice. I feel like so many of my performance material bras just like last so long. So we have this scooped V, honestly, similar cleavage level to the alpha sports bra but i'm still feeling contained like you can see there's this little like under bust detail and i am still fully in there so for the large cup sizes i would say there's still room but it's definitely still like a cleavage moment so overall low to medium coverage again a little bit more side boob maybe than the alpha and i hope i would stay in this I'm feeling like there's higher chances of me falling out of this one than the alpha, but I'm still not so uncomfortable that I wouldn't wear it to the gym. Just definitely on a low impact day. Sorry, did we do support? Support is definitely more light, light medium. I love this little under bust to detail. I feel like it's definitely like giving a little like roundness to the bust, just like making it super flattering. I don't know how I feel about this little like flat area here that I was showing in the seated portion. It is sitting very flat. 
but in the side it switches and I feel like it's kind of an uncomfortable transition there so I feel like I would have liked to see this little like flat bonded detail all the way around instead of just the front and not the back. Anyways, the neck area is pretty snug. It's not as snug as that Alphalete sports bra. That one was like unwearable for me. It was super tight. So this one is snug, mostly just because it's a halter, not because it's actually too tight, but still would have liked to see an adjustable strap at the front. And then we have the back. So I did have to tighten that little tee back strap detail a little bit. I don't know how much of a difference that little tee strap makes. Again, it's a little hard to tighten straps behind my back but I like that we have the option to remove that. So let's see how easy that is. Okay, strap has been removed. And yeah, I feel like that little strap will just kind of keep this bottom band from going like too low, but definitely not necessary. So this is like the halter launch. This is, a, this is the most halters we've ever seen. For me, I feel like I'll keep that strap on just for a little more security. And I still feel like the tee back is super open and everything, but I like that we have the option to do either one. And yeah, definitely still overall like the sports bra, but I could definitely see it being a little more uncomfortable on my neck than the Revolution Halter Sports Bra, because this is one of those like shiny bra strap materials, not like a soft Nubri fabric. A Cara Fave, which is the Alpha Sports Bra. This is coming back. This is the old eggplant purple from the Cake Collection. This is not a color launching. So the Alpha Sports Bra, we've seen her before. Even though I feel like this is a little bit more aimed at smaller cup sizes, I feel like it still works well for me. I do tend to take the cup pads out of this one just for a little more space in the bust. We've got a low to medium coverage in the front of this bra, but the shape of it works at least for my bust really well to where I don't really fall out of it. We get a teeny bit of side boob, a little bit of cleavage, but I'm still held in. We have a little dart detail that goes like up the bottom of the bust. We have that double layered long line detail. And then this bra is just super soft because there's no elastics anywhere. It's all just Nubri fabric. So the strap is not an elastic, it's just double Nubri. And same with the strappy detail in the back. So it's super comfy. And support wise, I get about a light to medium support for this one. But yeah, this is a classic Nubri sports bra. It's so comfy, it's so cute. I love the strappy detail. This is one I always get compliments on. All right, tell me why I did that whole seated portion holding up an old alpha bra when I got a new one. So we have about a low to medium coverage. This one does have the cup pads in the bra. And I would say this one is mostly large cup size friendly. Like I can still make it work. I still see people with larger busts wearing and loving this sports bra. It's just definitely like a cleavage moment. Like I don't fall out of it. I'm totally secured, but I definitely get a little cleavage moment, a little push up, occasionally a little spillage into that second layer there. But I still feel secure because we still have that whole layer even below that, that I'm not spilling into that's still staying nice and secure. So actually less side boob than I remembered. Maybe they changed it a little bit. And the support is actually not too bad. It's more of a light to medium, maybe even leaning more towards medium. Super flattering. I think this print is super cute, very wearable. I really wanted it to go with these leggings, but I don't know. I feel like this little band here is not really going with this. It's hard to mix performance fabrics with rush fabrics in my opinion. And then we have the super strappy back. The Alpha Sports Bra is a bra that I feel like is always, like the straps are just always going to be twisted on me and there's nothing I can do about it. But it's not uncomfortable because they're not even elastic straps, they're just fabric. So super comfy. This is just a classic bra that Buffunny keeps bringing back and I love it. Next we have the Wicked Sports Bra and this is a large cup size friendly high support bra. So I'm super bummed that I did not get it. So it seems to be made of the same material as the Wicked Pocket Leggings. So that kind of thicker performance material. We have a high neckline with a little kind of sweetheart seam detail kind of along the bust there. The bottom is a bonded elastic and there is a hidden pocket in the back racer back area as well as the sides. The back is an adjustable Velcro, which I would be super excited to try that because I love that it's an alternative to the classic little bra hooks that like, if I'm being honest, I can't get those on behind my back. It's just not happening. So I feel like that little Velcro would be a lot easier to manage. And it definitely looks like a solid medium to high support and large cup size friendly. All right, next we're moving on to tops and jackets. So first we have the Covet Crop. This one I feel like is the more supportive version of the corset crop. So it's a new refabric while the corset crop was butter. So a little bit more hold. We have this super cute sweetheart neckline detail, which I think is gonna be super flattering. Kind of straight up and down straps. 
We have that coin logo detail in the back and there is little seam detailing, almost like corset seam detailing, except a little bit less than the corset crop on the front as well as the back. And we do have a built-in shelf liner, elastic and cup pads. So should be some actual support in this one. This one would definitely be like gym or lifestyle. Okay, so I feel like this top is like, a very like romantic neckline. So it's fitting snugly everywhere, like in the bust. I feel like I have space. It's about a medium coverage. Like I'm definitely getting a little like push up kind of cleavage moment, but tons of side boob coverage. I feel like the neckline is very wide. Like this goes very far into my armpit area. Not in an uncomfortable way, but I would be a little bit concerned about the straps staying up because they definitely are on like the outer edge of my shoulder. So we can see that super cute neckline detail. I would love to see them incorporate this into some just regular sports bras as well. I would say it's definitely more on the cropped side, not quite reaching my legging waistband here. Then the back has that little scoop detail. Again, you can see it is very far into the armpits, but yeah, I definitely do feel like the strap is wanting to come off and support is about a light to medium support. Again, this one's more lifestyle for me, but you definitely could work out in it. Next, we have the Phantom Jacket, which I don't think I've seen this since the Rebel launch like three years ago, and I never got to try it then. So I'm very excited to try it now because everyone raves about this and I never got to have it. I did get to try the sugar coat from the Sugar Rush collection, which was basically this jacket, except it had that cutout detail in the back, but this one is just plain, which I like because I felt like the cutout detail of the sugar coat was hard to pair. You really had to think about what you're wearing underneath it and it looked kind of weird if you were wearing like a full shirt underneath. So I just like this one's just classic. So this is just a classic workout jacket, a great staple. I just felt like white would be a good, a good color to have. It's made of a fabric that has like a Nubri feel to it, but it is just a little bit different. It's almost a little bit stretchier. So we have this high colored neck. We have a full zip. We have zippered side pockets. Love that they're zippered because I don't trust any like horizontal pocket if it doesn't have a zipper. Very minimal detailing in the back. There's no seam detailing. In the front, we do have some little curved detailing to kind of accentuate the curves. Then we have a little layered thumb hole detail for the sides. And you know I love a good thumb hole. Okay, we have the Phantom jacket. So soft. I live in these type of jackets on hikes for layering to and from the gym in like the fall and winter. Just so comfy. So like I said, it kind of has a Nubri feel to it, but perhaps, but maybe a tiny bit less brushed, but it still has a ton of stretch to it. So not a ton of compression, just a lot of stretch. It is a full length jacket. I do have this in a small here and in your normal top jacket size, it is going to be pretty snug. So this is one of those like BBL jackets, you know? gives you the curves, just like super sleek. So I don't like to size up in these because it gets a little loose like in this lower tummy area. But usually buff bunny jackets are a little bit loose at the bottom for me. But this one is actually fitting like nice and snug, not too snug where it's like uncomfortably tight, but it's just fitting all the right places. So I'm so excited this jacket is back. And buff bunny, we need this jacket more. This is a favorite, bring it back because I wanna see this in every collection. Like, who doesn't want a cute little jacket like this? So while it's zipped up, we can see some of the details going down the front. We have these really nice hidden zip pockets. I love how sleek these look. The zippers are matching the color of the jacket and they're hidden, but they're very spacious as well. I basically will not wear an active jacket if it doesn't have a zip pocket. So we have the pocket, I can wear it. We have those on both sides. The sleeves are nice and long and we also have that overlapping thumb hole detail. And, and I believe this is an update from before. They just kind of had like a cutout hole, but this has that like overlay detail. So the quality is a little bit improved and it's just gonna last a lot longer. We do have that seam down the arm with the coin logo on the bottom left. And then the back is very plain. And I kind of tend to wear these and I tend to wear these like half a zip like this. And also here it is just unzipped. So my recommendation is true to size, but if you want like a little bit more space in the arms or anything, I definitely would go with the size up because the arms are a little bit snug, a little bit snug. It would be hard to wear anything with a sleeve under this. I have tried to wear jackets like this over my scrubs and I can only wear it with like my thinnest scrubs or else it just like bunches up in the arm area too much. Next, we are finally getting a graphic tee in time for the launch. I feel like whenever they do graphic tees, they're always late. So I'm super excited that we're getting this on time, but this is the 17. So it is a 100% cotton, almost kind of like a worn in 
grungy look. I really liked this black on black. So it's only coming in a long sleeve and then it's coming in the black and also the white, but just a super cute like grungy rose detail. I feel like this one's gonna be super popular. It says the seven collection, October 7th, 2023. They're really committing to that launch date. Like good for them for actually making it happen on time. And just a super cute layery piece. This is only coming in size small to I believe extra, extra large. And this is a medium I tend to wear either a medium or a large in these t-shirts because they don't run very oversized. And this is one item where I do like a little bit more space in it. All right, here is the medium tee. So you can see it's oversized, but it's not huge. So this is kind of where I like my t-shirts to be. So this is a full size tee, if not even a little long, it goes a little bit over my butt here. We have these little ribbed cuffs, some good space in the arms, and we have a crew neck as well. And I just love the little graphic detail of these. I don't have very many Buff Bunny graphic tees because they keep launching like after the launch and I just like miss out on them. So I'm super excited for this one. My recommendation is sizing up at least one or two sizes, depending on the kind of oversized vibe you want. And here's the back. It's kind of a worn in cotton feel, but it definitely feels like an 100% cotton tee. Like it's not the softest of the soft materials. This isn't like a Nimbus fabric or anything. So it is going to be, I don't want to say itchy, but not just like, just not that like luxurious soft. It's just like cotton tea kind of material. So it's a little bit more structure to it, a little bit more stiffness and not as much flow as like the journey tea or whatever that one was where it was like super ultra flowy. All right, next we're going to speed review the little cloud capsule that's going on. So first we have a new cloud piece. This is the cloud long sleeve crop. This is the color mauve, which is like really more of like a nude pink to me. It's made of their signature cloud fabric. If you guys don't know the cloud lounge stuff from Buff Bunny, it's like the perfect combination of like an ultra soft loungy material, but it also has good stretch to it. So super comfy, but also not restrictive. You can see close up, it's just super soft. And while we are close up, I should show the little embroidered logo in the back. So this is a new piece, full long sleeves, crew neck, and a little elastic at the bottom. Okay, so in behind the designs, I said this one wasn't super cropped. It is feeling super cropped for me, especially because I have the corset crop on underneath, which already doesn't really quite reach my leggings here. And this is actually a tiny bit shorter than the longest length of that. So I would actually consider this pretty cropped. It's only going about an inch below like my bra band area. So expect a pretty cropped fit. True to size, it has a little bit of a relaxed vibe to it. I personally wouldn't want it to be much more oversized than this. If you're in between sizes though, I would size up just because it does have this elastic on the bottom and you wouldn't want that to be too tight or uncomfortable. Super cozy, super soft. We do have a crew neck, which is like a soft lined crew, as well as some double thickness, like soft cuffs as well. It's very basic, but again, you can see a little bit of that, of that sports bra underneath, so. Again, I would love to see this top come down like to like the hip bones or something. That would be a perfect length. The cloud bolero is also back, made of that soft cloud material, but it's basically just a super, super cropped neckline with long sleeves to keep you a little bit warm, but it's definitely like a fashion piece. And here is the bolero. Again, super cropped, like you have this little keyhole detail, almost just looks like one piece when you wear the matching bralette underneath it. Something I did the other day was I just wore like a longer line tank with the bolero and I still thought it looked super cute and just gave me a little bit more coverage. It is true to size. It has a little bit of a slouchiness in the arms, so it's not super tight. We have the embroidered logo along the left sleeve here. We have more of a ribbed cuff detail as opposed to the smooth cuff detail of the long sleeve crop. And then here is the back. It comes up just a little bit above the sports bra. We have the cloud bralette. I did feel like this one ran a little bit small for me in the past and I did remove my cup pads. So this one does come with removable cup pads, but I just didn't really have space for it. And I also felt like the straps were a little bit short and like not quite stretchy enough. So I do feel like this piece needs a little bit of work, but it's made of that cloud, like sweatpants style material in bralette form. We have a full elastic along the bottom and we do have a little embroidered logo detail in the back. Definitely a lounge piece for me. This is not something I would work out in and I could also just use like a little bit more coverage. Okay, here is the cloud bralette. This is without any cup pads. It is thick enough where I don't really think the cup pads are totally necessary, but we have this thick elastic along the bottom and I've just worn this for longer periods of time. And I do find that the straps 
just feel a little bit short so I really wish they were longer and adjustable. We have about a medium coverage here, good side boob coverage with a little scoop in the front. We have a scoop in the back as well and the support. It's not meant to be a gym bra but I'm getting a light to medium support. So we do not have any full length cloud hoodies or anything in this collection which is a little bit of a bummer because I know not everyone wants something cropped but we do have the cloud joggers as well. This is a previous color. These are a 29 inch inseam with a little elastic at the bottom of the leg. The waistband is an elastic that you can roll down and it does have those stretchy drawstrings on the inside as well. And I also don't love having to roll my waistband down but if it's a little bit too high for you you can roll it down and you can have that drawstring flip to be on the outside. And then we have two front pockets and the Buff Bunny embroidered logos on the left leg. All right, here are the cloud joggers. This is a size small. So they're definitely not super baggy oversized in a small. So size up if you are in between or just want a baggier look. The waist is compared to leggings, I would say an ultra high. Again, you can roll it down, but for me, I would only roll these down if I had a little baggier of a fit. So if I had the medium, I would roll these down. We didn't show the inside of the fabric, but it's this soft brush, just kind of like a classic fleece. Again, we have the drawstrings. They're 29 inch inseam, so kind of hit at the ankles for me. And even though they're a little bit snug like this, they have a ton of stretch to them. So it's not like an uncomfortable situation where I don't feel like I can bend at the knees like I used to have in the untamed joggers. Those just had no stretch to them, so I much prefer these. And then here's the back, super plain. One final jacket that again, I did not get. I don't know if these have come quite yet, but this is the Desire denim jacket. It's coming in this washed black and a medium denim wash. And I think this is the first Buff Bunny, like true denim piece. We had the overalls, which were like kind of a denim feel, but this looks like a little cropped denim jacket. It looks super cute. I love the little seam detailing in the back that I feel like just kind of like draws your attention to your waist. It's got a button closure, corset front detail. Okay, yeah, I see that. I see that, that's super cute. Two little front pockets, as well as some adjustable side buttons. So I can't really tell what that looks like, but I think maybe it could like cinch in your waist a little bit on the side. Looks like a raw hem at the front half of the jacket, but the back half looks like it is finished hem. Looks like the sleeves are nice and full length. It's got a little collar detail. This just looks super cute. I would have loved it for some layering, but they have not made it yet. That's the thing about launches is sometimes things just don't make it in time. All right, we're finally on to accessories. I feel like we have not filmed this big of a Buff Bunny review in a while and I started my day a little bit too late today. So I really hope we can finish it all, but we're gonna put in our guesses here. I'm gonna guess that this video is going to be over an hour and I'm gonna guess that my footage is gonna be like two and a half hours. The Witcher's Brew just seemed like a good energy drink flavor for this vibe. All right guys, we cannot forget about the accessories. So first we have Nubri scrunchies coming in Journey Brown, Vanity, Wrath Red, and Nebula. Then we have the Butter Headband. I'm not a big headband girly, but it looks super cute. That has been in previous launches. There's also the Buff Bunny beanie. It's made of an acrylic material. It's got a ribbed texture and has Buff Bunny embroidered along the front. Again, not a big hat girly, so I didn't even feel like I should try this, but this is coming in a little gray and black, super cute. And then, guys, the cutest of the cute, we have the mini Game Changer backpack. Like, are you kidding me right now? Look how cute it is. Like, I just know Kara will be going to Halloween Horror Nights and she will be wearing this backpack. This is what it was made for. She did say that in Behind the Designs. I haven't, I don't know if she's posted her review yet, but that was what this was made for, I just know it. You guys know, I love a good a Buff Bunny Game Changer backpack, tote bag, any of the bags, I have them, I use them all the time. So it has a nylon exterior and a polyester lining. It came in this little, cute little dust bag. Look how cute that is. It's like a little linen situation, so adorable. So even though it's a game changer, it does not have a meal prep compartment because, because you wouldn't be able to fit very much, so. It does have a little mesh lining in the back of the backpack here. It zips about halfway down. So it's plenty of storage for like a wallet, phone, you know, little, little necessities, but obviously it's not gonna fit like a water bottle, anything crazy like that. It does have little side slit pockets here. You can fit like a chapstick, your keys, anything in there. I believe this little key ring detail is so that you can wear it as a crossbody. And then the backpack straps are adjustable. So I will show you how much we can adjust them. 
them. And then we will also try it on as a crossbody as well. Just a little close up moment. The Buff Bunny metal detail is like a black chrome situation as well as the zipper. It looks more silver on camera right now, but it's gonna be like a graphite. We have that little inner pocket and then the strap detail in the back. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how this can be a crossbody but I just don't really feel like these, but it's a little bit challenging, if not impossible, question mark, <laughs> to get the little adjustable strap area through those little D-rings. So I will just be wearing it as a backpack then because that's like not really working for me. If I figure it out, I'll post an update somewhere. But for now, we are just doing backpack. All right, guys, that is it for the review. I hope you enjoyed. This was so much of a bigger collection than I expected. I feel like because there are just so many new pieces, but I'm loving the vibes. I'm loving the new sports bras, that new leggings, just a very well-rounded collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. As always, leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are shopping the launch, you can use my code. It's just my name, Catherine, and it gives you 10% off. Again, the launch is on Saturday, October 7th at 1 p.m. Central Time. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!